Got the 350Z Nismo jacked up in the air in the front. And I think you guys know already, I showed you what I was doing. I'm actually gonna be replacing my end links. And for those who don't know what that is, for cars that have a sway bar, so this is the sway bar right here. There's supposed to be an end link that's connected from right there all the way at the bottom to right here. So from here to here. So what that does, that actually stabilizes the front end. It gives it more of like a rigid feel as far as steering goes. So cornering is gonna be nice, all that stuff. As you guys can see, I'm not currently running one. And the reason why that is, if I go to the driver's side, when we were installing the coilovers and taking off, the old sway bar, we actually had to end up cutting it because there's a nut and bolt kind of system. And basically, long story short, when I was spinning the nut, it was actually spinning the entire stud. So we had to opt out into cutting this off. And yeah, from then on, I couldn't run an end link here. So right now what I'm gonna do, I already got the wheel off. I'm gonna go ahead and drop down some of these lower panels here. And I'm gonna have to drop the entire sway bar itself. And then that way I can like drill this thing out properly, go ahead and install the sway, the uh, end link on there and then from there install it there after all of this you want to make sure that you definitely 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 get in alignment after i would say i can honestly notice a very very big difference of having a sway bar and the end link connected than from me install installing the coilovers and then not having an end link at all so i would definitely say if you have a car that has a sway bar make sure you are running that end link that way you know your steering is tight and then you're just confident in cornering and just driving in general so i'm super happy that i was actually able to finally pull the trigger on like doing all of the stuff that I want to do to this car and it's all thanks to God man if he wasn't as great as he was he wouldn't have allowed me to get this car you know so I do want to give my thanks to him real quick man I wouldn't be able to do any of this stuff if it wasn't for him to the man above but uh yeah without further ado let me go ahead and uh, lower some of the stuff at the bottom and see what I need to do to go ahead and take this uh, sway bar out <laughs> Okay, after a little time has passed, I finally got the sway bar out. I will say it's a pretty, it's, it's a mission, you know, doing it by yourself. I had to end up dropping this little panel here, this little under panel. So I dropped it a little bit and then I was able to kind of go up there and get to the bolts. So there are four of them. You can see that there are three bolts and then one, one nut here. So ended up doing that on both sides and I uh, finally got this thing out. So now you can kind of see what I was talking about is just pretty much <laughs> cut off, right? So we had to chop it there because that is what we were able to do while it was in the car. And then on this side, you can see that there's like a nut here, but when we would have something on this nut and spinning it, it was actually spinning the entire thing. So we had no other option but to cut it out. So now that I have this off, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know if I'm gonna just cut it off and then drill it out. I have no idea yet, but I um, just wanna kind of show you that. And um, I'll show you once I get to this one out and then I'll go ahead and put the new ones in. You guys can see what I mean. So this thing is super hot, but uh, this thing was actually stuck in there, kind of like that. And then it had this other piece on the other side. So went ahead and just cut it off. And now this thing just slid out. So now I actually can go ahead and install this sway bar back in the car. And then I think I'm gonna go ahead and put the end links on after that. All right guys, and just like that, we are finished. Let me come down here and show you. So. Went ahead and put the sway bar back up there. I actually ended up tying this panel down how it's supposed to. So there's like a clip right here. And then there's a clip kind of like all the way up there on the underside of it. So I tied that down, tied my under tray back down even more pro proper. So 
it's actually tied up a lot better than it was before and then same thing on the other side there's another panel over there that like i actually tied down correctly so i'm super happy about that but yeah i got the sway bar back in and i have the end links on so you can kind of see like how they look they're adjustable so definitely now i need to get an alignment on this car uh, if i show you the other one so that side is actually a lot longer than this one is and i don't really know anything about suspension as far as like that goes but i <laughs> i know what needs to be even and uh yeah right now they're not even and i don't know if that's natural i don't know so definitely need to get an alignment so everything can be even but i'm just happy that the sway bar is now connected and everything is back together how it's supposed to be super stoked on that i think right now what i'm gonna do i need to go ahead and take off this factory not factory but the exhaust that this car had because somebody ended up buying it and we're actually going to be getting a new exhaust here soon so stay tuned to the channel for that so last time you guys will ever hear this exhaust on this car let me give you a little walk around real quick. It's like a custom titanium full exhaust. Basically a Tomei, just doesn't have the, the brand on it. But it's full, uh, full titanium, so without further ado, let's go ahead and give this car a start for the last time with this exhaust. here this car has no gas <laughs> And that is all she rode. So we are actually gonna be selling this exhaust to the homie. He lives in New York. So I'm actually gonna take it off right now and box it up for him and send this thing out to him. Got something coming for this car. Imagine the whole car falls down. No, let's not imagine that actually. No, there's another hanger. I thought this was the only one, bro. No. No. Got it. That boy's strong as hell, boy. That boy's strong as hell. Oh. Shoot. Finally got this dang exhaust off, man. You guys can kind of see that. It's full titanium all the way. 